What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ols TV. In this video, we're gonna talk about the BenQ PD 3420Q ultra wide 34 inch widescreen monitor. And it goes for retail at the time of this video, $899. And the way I used it and the way I'm gonna to talk to you about it is I used it with my Mac mini, an M1 version of the new Mac mini. And I use it mostly for video editing, consumption of watching videos and then also visiting websites and things like that. So let's first jump into the features and specifications of the monitor. So right off the bat, this is a 34 inch 2K QHD 21 by nine ultra wide IPS LED monitor. So it's gonna be great for people that want to video edit or just want an ultra wide monitor overall. You're gonna get 100% sRGB colors and 98% P3 color spaces. You can also use a mount with this, the VESA Display HDR 400. It is certified for that. You'll get over 1 billion colors on this monitor. It has an anti-glare to it. It runs at 60 hertz refresh rate with a five millisecond response time. Color modes, you have animation, you have CAD, CAM, Darkroom, DCI, P3, P3 HDR, low blue, light, M-Book, and so much more on this monitor. Color temperatures, you can get 5000K, 6500K, or 9300K. It's got a thousand to one contrast ratio. The brightness typically is 350, but the peak brightness can go up to 400. It does have two 2.5 watt built-in speakers and a headphone jack. As for port selections, you have three USB 3.1 ports. You have one USB type B port. You have one USB-C port, which you can use, and what I'm using to connect directly to my Mac Mini is that USB-C port. You have a Display Port 1.4 and two HDMI 2.0 ports. It also comes with this little hockey puck that allows you to control the modes of the monitor. And if you don't wanna use the little hockey puck, there are controls on the back right of the monitor to power it on and off and change between the different modes and settings. Now let's jump into me actually using this monitor and kind of showing you how I personally use it on a day-to-day -day basis and what I think about it and go from there. Okay, so let's take a closer look at this monitor. So as you can see, it's an ultra wide monitor, 16 by nine, and you get such a wide viewing of it. It's, it's amazing. Once you get it into the base, which is really, really easy, basically just slide it right in, you can turn this pretty far. Now, obviously just stop right there pretty much because of my pole that I have there holding my camera, but it, it, it turns very much so and it tilts. So whatever way you want it to go, it's good. It can go up and down very easily as well, which is awesome. And you can do that all within this stand. So I love, love this stand. They make a great stand. And then, you know, when you have something like this, especially like when you're just looking at a really nice photo like this, a nature scene, it really, really pops. It's beautiful. So the let's go into some uh, video editing. I use DaVinci Resolve, obviously, with a, with a Mac. You could use Premiere or you could use Apple's own video editing um, software on here, which is Final Cut Pro. I personally don't use Final Cut Pro, um, but yeah, obviously you could use it on this. And you have this huge, huge, wide monitor, it's really beautiful. But let me show you a little bit real quick on here how I use DaVinci Resolve. So DaVinci Resolve, I have um, so I have this pretty open right here and at 41, yeah, all the way up to 50, I can see all the way up to 55 seconds. If I wanna make this, you know, if I wanna see the whole timeline, cause this is a really long video, but let's just go check that out. So this right here, I could literally definitely edit this video and it's a 20, almost a 20, it's a 24 minute video and I can see the whole timeline and I can definitely come in here and, and video edit and cut and do whatever I need to and still see everything and zoom in still if I need to. But again, you know, you still, since this is so wide, even with like a 24 minute video, I can still see the entire timeline, you know, and not get you know, lost in where I am and not have to keep jumping back and forth or anything like that. So like, oh, this, this ultra wide monitor has really changed, you know, the comfort level of me being able to video edit more so than I really truly thought it would. So it's been great with all that stuff with the video editing and, uh, you know, being able to do anything like that. I've been 
thoroughly, thoroughly happy with all that stuff. So if you're a video editor, you're definitely going, going to want to look into, if you haven't already, look into ultra wide monitors because they truly make a big difference with video editing. Another thing I wanted to show off was running two apps at once. I have two browsers here. I have Safari and I have the uh, Google Chrome browser right here. And you know, just switching back and forth between both of them, doing whatever you want, watching videos or um, you know, looking at a website at the same time works great on here. Even though this is a 2K monitor, you can still obviously watch videos whatever resolution they're at my videos I do 4K and they look beautiful on here. But yeah, I really love having that complete you know ultra wide viewing angle the 21 by 9 aspect ratio to still be able to look at you know a huge version of the website on one half of the screen and then the other half of the screen watch a video or even you know go on twitter or something just another website that you can look at and, and look at stuff it looks great on here and the quality of the screen too looks amazing you know i have no issues even though this is lower resolution than my last monitors these look fantastic. The colors are great. They pop, they're natural. I love them. They look really, really good. One thing I wanted to show you is when you do watch a video and you go into um, the widescreen, full screen, I should say, you can see this is a 16. I'll go into a piece where I'm talking here. You know, when I'm talking, this is fully wide open. It's giving you black bars on the side. So it might be a, like a deterrent. Uh, for people when they when and if they get this monitor in case they get this monitor but one thing that is beautiful and i found this video right here real quick we'll take a quick look at it this is 21 by 9 aspect ratio so you're going to get the full viewing experience on here we'll play it for a second and it looks amazing like this is freaking crazy beautiful how awesome this looks to get a full 21 by nine aspect ratio video on here. Obviously, you know, if you were watching this video, this 21 by nine aspect ratio video on a 16 by nine monitor, you'd have black bars on this one. But since this is um, situated and, and fixed for a 21 by nine aspect ratio monitor, you're gonna get the full viewing experience and not miss out on anything. And it really is so much more immersive than uh, almost anything that I've ever seen. It's beautiful. You do get this little hockey puck right here, and this little hockey puck allows you to um, control the different modes of the monitor, and you can set it up if you want very easily to uh, jump between any of this stuff and you know set it the way you want it to do. You can set up, uh, you can look at switch your ports if you want to uh, easily without having to do it behind here where the other buttons are. Those buttons are easy to easy to use as well, but. Uh, I mean, it's so much easier to have a hockey puck that plugs directly into this. The other cool thing about this monitor is since I have it plugged in via USB-C into the Mac mini, I can, I, and Mac minis don't have a lot of USB-C, USB ports at that. And this has multiple USB 3.1 ports that I can plug in hard drives. I can plug in um, USB mouse or keyboard or anything else that's USB into the cam uh, webcam and it frees up ports from me having to get a, 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 a anything else for my Mac mini or plug it into my Mac mini directly. I can use the monitor that way as well. So it's great, amazing, really helpful to have the USB hub built into the monitor as well. So overall, I've been using this monitor for about two weeks at this point. And thus far, I actually enjoy it a lot more than I thought it would. I was coming from two 32 inch 16 by nine monitors 4k monitors at that so this one is lower resolution but in all honesty it doesn't really seem bad compared to the 4k monitors the 4k monitors if you have it at 4k especially on a mac it really is difficult to see so at 2k everything's actually perfectly you know good with my eyes my eyesight's not amazing in terms of you know when small text is going to be a little bit harder for me to read so at the full you know 3400 by 1400 resolution i can see everything i don't have to make it larger everything looks great i love the ability of running two windows side by side and getting really the full definition in terms of seeing both those windows at a really good size because of that wide screen you get a nice wide viewing angle for both uh, apps or you can do more than two apps but for me I think two apps is the sweet spot the other great thing is video editing like I showed you I video edit on this a lot 
and being able to see basically the whole timeline all without having to like go back and forth to seeing where I am to going back from there to this it's awesome it's been really really great and also coming from two monitors you know where I have uh, two huge 32 inch monitors that took up my whole entire desk to just one has actually been a little bit less less clutter for sure but also a less less distracting as well like I can keep my mind to the work but at the same time I will admit I'm looking at probably getting a smaller monitor just to like play videos and stuff on that I can use and then do all my work on the ultra wide some of the negative things which to me aren't really that big of a deal are the design of it isn't like super modern looking it does have some bezel on it so if you're looking for like something with like basically zero bezel on this this isn't the one to get but and you know does it bother me not really if you're a gamer the five millisecond response time in 60 hertz refresh rate might not be that great for you i don't really game on a pc for me again not really a big deal Watching videos, a lot of videos are in 16 by nine. So you're gonna have black bars on this. When you watch videos, 21 by nine, there are videos that take hold of that and it looks amazing. But again, most videos are 16 by nine, so you're gonna have some black bars if you watch it in full screen. Other than that, I'm very happy with the monitor. It's really great for content creators. It works great with my Mac Mini. I haven't had any issues. Now, Mac Mini M1s, I was having some issues with my HDMI ports on my other monitors, like it, sometimes it, the resolution would get messed up. But using this monitor, USB-C, directly into the Mac Mini, I haven't had any issues everything's worked great now you can also use this on a pc or you can even use it on your console you can play video games on it with your new xbox or your new playstation all that stuff works fantastic so if you want to pick up this monitor i'll link it down below thanks for watching we'll see you guys down the road peace